the DJI NEO has made an early appearance at a Canadian retailer, suggesting that its official launch as a groundbreaking mini-drone is imminent. But we're not stopping there, let's dive into the thrilling new features and innovations that make DJI's NEO a game-changer in the drone world. The excitement is building as DJI's upcoming NEO drone has been spotted at a retailer in Canada. This sighting is a strong indication that the official launch is just around the corner. For drone enthusiasts and tech followers alike, this is big news, signaling that the NEO could soon be available to the public. With anticipation growing, let's dive into what we know so far about this promising new addition to DJI's lineup. Leaked features and capabilities Recent leaks have given us a glimpse into the DJI NEO's impressive capabilities. Promo images have surfaced, showcasing the drone's potential for autonomous flight maneuvers using DJI Quick Shots. This feature allows users to capture stunning 360 degrees perspectives with ease, whether they're recording their latest adventure or capturing cinematic shots. What's particularly exciting is the ability to control these features directly through an app or even by voice command, eliminating the need for a separate controller. This makes the Neo not only versatile but incredibly user-friendly, catering to both seasoned pilots and those new to the drone world. Controller Compatibility One of the standout aspects of the DJI Neo is its compatibility with multiple controllers signaling a potential shift in DJI's approach to its product ecosystem. The NEO is confirmed to work with the DJI Aero CN2 controller, and there's a strong possibility that it will also be compatible with the RCN3. This suggests that DJI might be moving towards a more standardized control system across its range of products. For users, this could mean greater flexibility and convenience as they wouldn't need to invest in multiple controllers for different drones. This move towards a unified control system could simplify the experience for DJI enthusiasts, making it easier to manage and operate multiple drones within the same ecosystem. Speculations on Video Transmission There's also speculation about the DJI NEO's video transmission capabilities. Jasper Ellens, a well-known figure of the drone community, has suggested that the NEO might utilize DJI's O4 ecosystem for video transmission. This technology could potentially offer enhanced video quality and more reliable transmission, which are critical for both recreational and professional drone pilots. Additionally, there's talk that the NEO could be compatible with the DJI Aero C2 controller, though this hasn't been confirmed yet. If true, this would further solidify DJI's move towards a cohesive and standardized control system across its products, offering more options and better integration for users. FPE Capabilities Insider reports have hinted at the DJI NEO's potential to support FPE, first-person view, capabilities, bringing it in line with DJI's popular Avada 2. This would allow pilots to experience immersive flying, seeing what the drone sees in real time, which is especially thrilling for those interested in dynamic and high-speed maneuvers. The NEO is rumored to be compatible with Goggles 3 and the FPV ARC 3 controller, enhancing the overall FPV experience. These additions could make the NEO a compelling option for both casual users and those looking for a more intense, immersive flight experience. With minimal video lag and a range of FPV features, the NEO could appeal to a broad audience from beginners to experienced FPD pilots. Flight Modes The DJI NEO is expected to come equipped with several advanced flight modes catering to a wide range of pilot preferences. These modes include Real View, Easy Acro, Rocksteady, M-Mode, Head Tracking, Ultra Low Height, and Gyro Flow Stabilization. Real View and Easy Acro provide simplified controls for beginners, helping them get accustomed to FPV flying without overwhelming them with complexity. Rocksteady ensures smooth, stable footage even during high-speed flights. M-Mode is likely to offer more manual control for experienced pilots, allowing them to push the drone's capabilities. Hand tracking and ultra-low height modes are designed for specialized flying experiences, adding more variety to how the NEO can be used. Lastly, gyro flow stabilization could help in capturing ultra-smooth footage, making the NEO versatile for both casual and professional use. These features collectively make the NEO adaptable to different flying styles and skill levels, enhancing its appeal across the board. DJI Ecosystem Integration A particularly intriguing aspect of the DJI NEO is its potential for seamless integration into the existing DJI ecosystem. The rumored compatibility with current DJI controllers, such as the RCN2 and possibly the RCN3, could make it easy for existing DJI users to add the NEO to their collection without needing to invest in new hardware. This approach aligns with DJI's strategy of creating a cohesive, interconnected ecosystem where devices work together smoothly. For drone enthusiasts who already own DJI products, this means that incorporating the NEO into their lineup could be a hassle-free experience, reinforcing DJI's strong position in the consumer drone market. 
The ability to use familiar controllers across multiple drones could also simplify the learning curve, allowing users to focus on exploring the NEO's new features and capabilities. As the excitement around the DJI NEO continues to build, it's clear that this drone has the potential to be a game-changer in the market. With its versatile flight modes, potential FPV capabilities, and seamless integration with existing DJI products, the NEO is shaping up to be a must-have for both new and experienced pilots. If you're as excited about the DJI NEO as we are, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Stay tuned for more news, and we'll see you in the next video.